Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, this was a video I was honestly afraid to make just because I'm gonna literally give honest thoughts and opinions about what I think about the Clementine comic book. Yes, you've read the title and you're all probably pissed at me, but honestly, I do not care. I'd rather be straight up honest than to like trend with the crowd. Is that the word? I don't even know if that's the word, but. Anyways, let me talk about the situation first and then I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions on like why I think all of you are ridiculous. I'm not even joking, like everyone in this situation is ridiculous and I'm gonna get to the point. So with the Clementine comic book, obviously everyone's not really hyped about it and I could tell why people are not hyped for it. Like for example, the art style from like this trailer that was shown, it doesn't really look that very good compared to like the Walking Dead comics for example. It looks very watered down. And there has been like some sneak peek of the dialogue and I will admit the dialogue is a little bit weird and awkward. But of course, like I said, this is just a, this is just a sneak peek of like the Clementine book trilogy. And I can kind of see where Skybound Games was going with this, for example. From what I've seen from what I've seen, it seems like the Walking of the Final Season and the Walking the Def 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 I can't talk. The Walking Dead Definitive Edition did not sell as well as Skybound wanted to. And Obviously, everyone wants a new game with Clementine, and obviously, Skybound Games sees Clementine as like a marketing strategy. But unfortunately, she they do not want to spend a large budget on her. If that makes sense, that's the way I see it at the moment. I really don't think the final season or the definitive collection really did sell well because there were like a lot of sales after <laughs> when they were released. So. That's what I think happened. Like everyone that's asking for a game, like something else I also wanted to mention that I forgot to mention in this video was that Skybound basically spent like a million dollars just to get Telltale's The Walking Dead property in order for them to finish the final season. So this cost them a lot of money I would assume and that's why they can't really waste Clementine's character and not just like do nothing with her. People are not gonna buy the game. People are just gonna be watching it on YouTube and that's where I think Skybound Games just thought we will slap together a comic book trilogy, this will be something new we can do with Clementine and it'll be awesome. And I was mixed about this of course because walking into the final season was supposed to be the final season. It's supposed to be where Clementine's journey ended, however it would have been cool to see Clementine in the comic books because that's what everyone really wanted Robert Kirkman to do. However. Tilly Waldron is writing the comic book for Clementine's book trilogy and from what I've seen so far especially with like um the first comic book with the Clementine lives it seems like Tilly doesn't really have a good idea on like who Clementine is a, as who Clementine is as a character Tilly definitely I think has played the games but mostly focused on maybe seasons one and the final season. I really don't think she has- I really feel like Tilly only focused on season 1 and season 4 since those were like the best out of all four games and I personally think that maybe after the first book one we can see how the writing is in terms of like how Tilly wants Clementine to be but obviously at the moment I'm not really too crazy about the Clementine book trilogy and I do think that the writing is a little bit weird at times and from what I've seen so far but of course I can't really judge it instantly based on like a few sneak peek but oh my god so I will agree that I do think Skybound Games there could have been like a lot more there could, there could have been like a different approach with the comic book or maybe do something else or have a larger budget in terms of the art style in my opinion or try to figure out like what people want to do, um, what they want to do with Clementine in the proper way that will respect the final um, season's ending. But they clearly did not do that and the fans are of course upset and I think that's perfectly fine just to be upset with the whole book trilogy and not be too crazy about it. But you guys, not everyone obviously, but the, pe the fan base has gone through a whole nother level of just being like a bullshit dickheads like I'm not even joking like I'm gonna explain to you like why I see this and the first thing I've noticed was that Tilly Waldron is getting a bunch of hate and I think that's personally like bullshit she should not be deserving any of this hate 
Skybound games, if anything, are the ones in charge. They're the ones of Skybound Weber. They're the ones who hired Tilly to like write this book trilogy, and I'm assuming that there was like she had to write it very quickly. There was like a limited amount of time, and they, she was given a small budget. That's what I'm assuming um, about Tilly Waldron. I've never seen any of her previous works, so I can't assume. I can't assume that she was like. A great writer or anything because I literally know nothing about her but I've, I bet I've, if I were to do some research this is either her first time doing a big project like this or she just wasn't given like enough of um, information about or enough time I guess you could say about the book trilogy and it was just her job to do it that's why I personally think is happening from what I've been seeing in the fan base a lot of people are hating Tilly and People are going as far as to like justify that this is okay for them to do. For example, I've been seeing some people, which I will not be calling names of course just because I am not that type of person. I've seen some type of people that would basically talk about the comic book and say that, oh it's shit, I am not gonna be hyped for it, and that's fine. But it's the way they word it that's like, of course, kind of weird. Like, you're an adult and you can, you can say whatever the heck you want. But if you have like a large people of um, a large amount of people following you, then of course people are gonna like agree with you because that's just what people do usually, as far as I know with the internet. But the, you have to make sure you word things a certain way. To make sure it doesn't sound like a certain way. So, for example, if you're gonna say that Tilly Waldron does not deserve any of this hate and she obviously should not be getting threatened with her life, you can't say that if you're gonna say shit like Tilly Waldron is shit or she's like a horrible writer, she killed Clementine. You cannot say that and not expect people to like say something back to her. There is a way of words that I think people do not realize and I don't realize as well. I can sometimes say stuff that could be literally taken out of context and people can like not understand like the whole build up to like what I've been saying. So that's personally what I find a little bit baffling with like the community so far. I've noticed like a bunch of people saying like, well, I'm, I don't think people obviously shouldn't be saying here, hey, but but you can't say that because you're the ones like that are supporting the fire like you're the ones putting more fire into the flames i don't know how the expression works but you get the point that's what the issue is at the moment i have with the fan base of the walking dead in my opinion like i don't know if anyone else ha is having this issue or i'm just the only one noticing it but i know there's definitely like some of my friends that have noticed about this issue and i'm pretty sick and tired of people just hopping on the train of it being immediately shit when it literally has not been out yet. I'm not gonna be- I'm gonna be real, I don't think it's gonna be good, but I am looking forward to like seeing what it's about. Cause obviously, I did- I will admit I was one of those people that wanted like a Clementine comic book back during season 2 days. So I can't wait to see what Tilly's vision was even though it may have not been as what we wanted it to be I guess is what I'm trying to say. The point is is that please do not say shit if you're not gonna mean it. Like if you're just gonna hop on the train wagon then literally then I don't understand like why you're just being like like why are people tr how do I explain it? People are just jumping on the wagon just to feel relatable I feel like. I feel like there are some people that are legitimately excited but are afraid to speak up their opinions. I'm not going to pretend I'm excited, but I, I'm interested to see what it's about. Like everyone is saying like the hashtag my Clementine killed, hashtag not my Clementine whatever. Like I'm not asking any of you to give the comic book a chance, like I'm just asking you to actually just form an opinion just respectful and not like whatever the fuck I just said so an example I have is a new frontier I know a new frontier had a bunch of hate when episodes one and two came out and I think it was somewhat the right hate 
people had the right to be angry, of course, because Telltale Games lied a bunch of stuff about season three, and episodes one and two was not how I expected it to be. However, I did enjoy some parts of episodes one and two, like Javier and his family, for example. It was clear they were intended to be the main purpose of the game, and I personally thought that they were very interesting characters at first, and I really was intrigued. I will admit, I was obviously pissed off by Tolo Games because there was a bunch of stuff they lied about Season 3, and people had the right to be angry. However, attacking people is not the right way to go. You can literally just do what you've been doing this whole time and not buy their game. You are literally showing that, hey, if I don't purchase this, that means I'm not interested. Like, I don't know why that doesn't like apply to anyone's head. Like, you can just not buy the product and show that this is not what we want. And that can give Skybound an, an, an idea saying like, oh, this, this, this technique is not working. Maybe we should go back to the games. I don't understand why people have to like spread so much hate just to get attention from this like that's just my personal opinion about this you can do whatever the heck you want except i personally <laughs> wouldn't want you to attack anyone of course because that's just wrong but that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy a little bit of what i had to say i really don't care if this video gets a bunch of dislikes or death threats i guess you could say i'm just tired of people trying to like hop on the wagon and trying to feel relatable like oh everyone walking the fan base is mad at the comic i'm gonna be mad and attack tilly waldron like that's just so stupid like some of you are adults and you are literally just acting like a fucking toddler like i'm being real with you right now like if you're just gonna be like that and just do that shit then why even have like an opinion if your opinion is not gonna be actually your opinion like i don't care how raw this is like i know I'm, I'm not gonna pretend i'm the best at speaking or whatnot but i'm not gonna pretend to just like hide my opinions and just be like jo joining the trend or anything like i'm not gonna pretend the comic book's gonna be great or anything i think it may be shit but i'm still interested to see what the heck it's about and i'm being like open-minded about it but for the people that are just joining the trend just because they think they're like some hot shit and they want to feel relatable and get like attention from it like y'all are a bunch of fucking pussies and i really don't give a fuck if you want to do that you can do whatever the heck you want but wanting to do this and it's just dumb that you just want to just join the trend just feel relatable and i feel sorry that you cannot feel um feel like you can form your own opinion about this kind of stuff but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoy i'm I'm sorry this is not like your normal typical happy video. Next videos will I'm sure will be happy until the comic book releases. <laughs> um, I will talk about my opinions about the book trilogy. I don't think I'm going to be reading it out loud as people have been doing oddly enough. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe. Mm. And yeah, um, I guess this was sort of like a rant video. I'm, it's, I, ho I know it's not the rant video people wanted, but like... I'm, I just want to like be real and honest and just speak my honest opinion. But yeah, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Hopefully it'll be a more happier video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.